And we're joined now by Siena Baseball senior slugger Joe Durpich. The Saints begin their quest for a sixth MAC championship Wednesday against Marist. And Joe, you guys got so close last year. This year, going back for yourself and your fellow seniors, how much of last year's service motivation for you guys to get back to this moment? I mean, not making the tournament last year definitely left us with a bitter taste in our mouth. So, being able to play real well down the stretch and make it to the tournament this year is uh, really exciting. The last couple of times you guys have been in this tournament, when you were a freshman and a sophomore, both times you guys made it to the MAC Championship Series. What did it take to get there those years that you've tried to instill in the younger guys, letting them know what it's going to take this weekend to be playing on Championship Saturday? Um, having really good pitching, a lot of energy, and uh, just coming to the ballpark ready right to play. And those teams were great. We made some really good runs, came really close, so hopefully we bring the energy. Uh, we should be able to do the same this year. All right, Joe, best luck this weekend, and uh, good luck as you go for that title. Thank you. And we're joined now by senior captain Phil Madon. And uh, Phil, when you came into this program, you were a walk-on. Now as a senior, first-team All-Mac selection, the first Siena catcher to be first-team All-Mac in 16 years. What does it mean to you, the journey you've taken here over your four years to get to this point? Yeah, I mean, I just can't thank Coach Rossi enough for the opportunity to uh, give me the chance to play Division One baseball. It really means a lot um, to prove all the people that told me I was too small wrong. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just looking forward to tomorrow, lacing them up, and trying to beat Maris tomorrow. And you've got a chance now to top it all off with winning a MAC championship. You guys came so close as your freshman and your sophomore year. What were some of the lesson le lessons learned from those two tournaments that you hope to build off upon this weekend? I think one of the lessons that you learn is that you really can't take any pitches off. You can't take any innings off, any games. And you're going to need everybody from top to bottom on the roster to contribute, whether it be your starters every day or your bullpen guys that haven't gotten much, uh, many innings recently. You're going to need those guys to step up and really help you out. Great. Thanks so much for your time, Phil. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you. And now joined by head coach Tony Rossi. And uh, coach, 14th time you've led uh, Siena to a MAC tournament. Ten times before you've made the championship series, including six straight. You know what it takes to get deep on championship weekend. What does it take and what is it going to take from this year's squad to have a chance to play for a title? Well, I think we got to do what we've been doing in the last uh, month of the season. Uh, we're going to have to get good pitching. We're going to have to hopefully uh, not go deep in our staff early. Uh, that's going to be key. We're going to have to hopefully uh, play real well the first game. We'll try not to get in the loser's bracket. If we do, we can still come out of it. But uh, it's tough to go through the loser's bracket. So we've got to stay in the winner's bracket and play every game one at a time and try not to lose that first game. Four All-Mac honorees, uh, including Phil Madonna, first team a catcher, former walk-on uh, to your program, who's had a tremendous career. Uh, your thoughts uh, on your guys who uh, received much deserved recognition tonight? Well, I mean, it's great, obviously, for, the, for them and for the program, for the school. Uh, they all are, are hard workers, did a great job. Uh, Phil, obviously, has uh, done a great job for us the last four years. It's been an outstanding addition, not just uh, athletically, academically as well and his involvement in the community as well. Coach, you took two of three from Marist in the regular season, three very close, hard-fought games. You open with them on Wednesday. Uh, your thoughts on the matchup with the Red Foxes to get the tournament started? Well, I mean, the previous games are kind of history right now. They were all close games anyway, so they could have gone either way. So uh, they're a good ball club. We're going to have to play well. I mean, I, I, I predict it's going to be close, and uh, we're just going to have to get, again, quality pitching and some timely hitting. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. Best of luck this week. Thank you.